Genesis is no longer just a flagship model for Hyundai. With the launch of the G90 limo at the Detroit Auto Show, it's now become a standalone brand in its own right. This car we know as the Genesis, but it will be renamed G80. And the Korean brand says it'll be just one of five all new models set to hit the road between now and 2020. The G90 is a given. What we know less about is the new large coupe and the promised full-size SUV. What Australian buyers will be most interested in, however, is the proposed mid-size rear-drive sedan and sporty crossover that will share its underpinnings. Look out BMW 3 Series and Jaguar F-Pace. Genesis has recruited key execs from brands like Bentley and Lamborghini, but details of its retail strategies and exact timetables are still a work in progress. For the time being, the G80 will set the tone for the new brand. It's been tweaked for the 2016 model year, and in the US market at least, more safety features and a higher specification level have been launched. At around 54 grand in the US in top trim, it's priced within QE of its Japanese and German opposition. Stateside at least, the brand's not shy of asking serious money. There's already a 3.8 litre V6 down under, it's a pretty rare beast, only around 500 were sold last year. This is the 5 litre V8 Ultimate. It's left hand drive only, so it's not coming down under. And given Australia's love affair with V8s, that's a shame for us and for Hyundai. The G80 delivers more room than the likes of the Audi A6 or BMW 5 Series. There's all the equipment you'd expect and a decent quality feel to the cabin and touch points. We expect the new Mercedes E-Class to raise the bar for this class. There's a subtle but soulful soundtrack to this V8, and it's a point of difference the brand will need. And in American spec at least, there's a gulf between the dynamic abilities of the G80 and its German opposition. If our short V8 drives anything to go by, Hyundai Australia's team deserve a big pat on their collective back for their local suspension tuning efforts. Aussies have never bought more Mercs, Beamers and Audis, so there's no question we love top shelf cars. But does that guarantee success? As Infiniti and Lexus have shown, it's a hard road down under for startup prestige brands. Even with big plans, deep pockets and solid engineering, Genesis faces an uphill battle. 